Hey there, collectors. I just got in the Queen Studios uh, quarter scale Mark 43. So looking forward to unboxing this. This will go with the Mark 7 I've already got and of course the Hulkbuster that arrived as well. So the video for that will be up soon. So let's open him up and have a look. So here's our art box, which is quite nice. There's Mark 43 at the front, quarter scale. It says on the top here what movie it's from. So uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. So exactly the same movie um, as the Hulkbuster here as well. So this goes with the Hulkbuster. I'm gonna display it in front. They made 1,500 of these. This is number 125. So uh, I'm super keen to see what the finish is like on this one to see if it's as good as the Mark 7. Okay, we'll open them up. Okay, so comes with an instruction page, so similar to the Mark 7, but doesn't look like you, we've got as many pieces in this, which is great. And of course the base, you can see the base isn't as tall as the Mark 7, which is good. It's going to sit nice in front of the Hulkbuster. We've got our certificate here at the front. I'll just take these straps off. So the certificates are a lot smaller with the quarter scale pieces. Uh, but yeah, that's nice. Actually, yeah, it's, in a, it's in a nice little sort of plastic pocket as well. So that's, uh, that's really good. Okay, let's have a close look. Here we go. I really want to see what kind of finish is on that. That's quite nice, isn't it? I like the, um, I really like the gold on that. That's kind of quite nice. And this is the base here. We'll have a closer look at the base. Okay, look at that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Got the some leftovers here of a downed enemy, which is good. The bottom. So 125 or 1500. It's a nice low base for those who don't have a lot of space, which is good. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna put him together and um, we'll, have a, we'll have a good close look at him. Okay, here we go. This is a Mark 43 all put together. Just got him in front of the Hulkbuster there. Pretty easy to put together, not too many parts to him. So he sat in the base really well. You've got a nice sort of deep peg uh, for that foot there, and then this foot just rests on top of that rock, which is uh, very, very simple. It went in very easy. Um, and then you've got the two arms, so the one on the left and the one on the right, and then you've got the head, which just sits on top. Um, pretty pretty basic, pretty, yeah, very, very easy to put together. One switch out, um, which is this arm down here. So got the rockets or the rocket coming out I've decided to go with that one instead only because I've got the sideshow mark 7 which which sort of has the the rocket pose I guess so I thought I'd just with the Queen I'll leave it I'll leave it with that one there but that's the only switch out um, look light up features unfortunately still a pain in the butt not as easy as obviously um, the Hulkbuster it's three double A's, everything's connected one switch. Love it, absolutely love it. This is all separate. So I'll go through this and um, show you how you need to do the lights, the, the, the light, the switch outs. So first up here, you've got that little light in there. So he has to be pulled out and you've got to turn it to put him on and then you put the helmet back on. So that's for that one. For the hand, he that comes out there as well and you've got just on top that's the other little light there that pulls out put your little cell battery in there turn that and that puts on that puts on the light so we'll put that back on top like that and that just goes. Oh. Let's go this way, not that way. 
Nope, nope, must go this way. You see how this is a pain in the butt right to turn just because you want to put the light on. It's not sitting right, is it? See, what a pain, it's an absolute pain. This is pretty loose too. It's not a very strong magnet, so just be very, look at that, be very careful with that. What am I doing wrong here? So it's got to go that way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> not easy. And then on the back, so this plate comes off here. down the bottom oh there we go so the back plate comes up this is your light there that's for the arc reactor so that just push that on and off for to light up the arc reactor put that back in upside down there we go okay there's the three light up features oh it's hard work um, and you got to get your little button batteries, which I don't have, um, only because I don't think I'm going to be lighting, lighting him up, to be honest. Uh, it's just too hard to, to light him up. I'm really concerned about this. This is so loose. And then that's the, that comes out. That's got a nice strong magnet there. But this is very loose. Um, if you've got this piece, let me know if, if yours is loose as well. I'm just very concerned about that. That, that can drop easy. Maybe, maybe I'll do the other switch out. Anyway. Uh, okay, so let's have a closer look at him. So we'll start with the base. I love that you've got one of the sentries here. Um, his arm, that looks really, really good. I like that. Um, the base has got a lot, lot going on, which is good. Um, you've got timber a timber look here you know like you've got a sort of a timber post timber beam which is really good this is a this is supposed to be like a sack um, so you can see he's standing in the sack and causing obviously a bit of a dint so that's so that's um, that's interesting um, around the, around the rock base and obviously the big rock that his left foot's on there so there's a lot happening with the base it's quite good um, if you, if I sort of compare it to the base that the Hulkbuster's standing on, it's not, obviously not the same, the colours are different. That's a bit disappointing for me, I wanted them to all match, I really thought this would make a nice big diorama, which it will, um, but I was hoping it was all going to connect, which it doesn't. So it's just up to you to place all the quarter scales around the Hulkbuster, so there's nine I think all up. Um, this is a nine piece set, which I've got coming because um, I was all in on this. I think it looks, I think it'll, I think it'll look phenomenal altogether. Um, it would have been good if, I don't know, if the bases did somehow, I guess, lock in together. I think it would have been, it would have been awesome, but that's okay. It's, st it's still going to, it's still going to look pretty good. But I, I hope you see what I mean. Like the base, it's, it's sort of a different theme to the Hulkbuster, yet it, they're both from the same movie. Um, so it would have been good just to maybe, I don't know, maybe have some of that, have some of that mixed in with the Hulkbuster base. I think that would have been absolutely phenomenal and, um, would have been a nice, so a nice set. All right, let's work our way up and have a look. I'm really happy with the paint app. I think they did a good job with the colors. Um, he's, you know, the, he's very vibrant. It does, does actually match the Hulkbuster pretty good, which is excellent. A good mix of the gold and the red. You can see the, see the gold there, the light's bouncing off the gold quite nicely. Not a lot of weathering, like there's only very, very sort of, you know, very light weathering on these boots. Just a few splashes of mud, not too much. Same with this one over here. You just see just right at the front, there's a little couple of dots, couple of speckles. So not a lot of weathering on this piece compared to the Mark 7. The Mark 7 is covered in damage and weathering. Um, this one isn't, which, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. A um, little bit of weathering on the portrait. You can see there just a couple of scratches on the gold. Um, 
but yeah, it's um, the finish is very very good. It's it's you know I I, I do I do love the finish. I think uh, Queen Studios um, do use good quality paint apps, and I think that I think they get the colors right. I don't know. You, you tell me what you think, but I like the um, the detail here in the side of the suit. Looks pretty good. So yeah. No, I think I think uh, look on a, a piece by itself. Uh, I think phenomenal. I think um, you, you're going to be very happy if you're not getting this whole collection and you're just getting the odd piece. Um, this piece is a standalone. I think you're going to be really happy. I think this will please collectors because it's not a it's not won't take up a lot of space. Very small footprint. Uh, doesn't have a lot of height. So if you're wanting a Mark 43, I think this is definitely the one to get. Uh, you definitely won't be disappointed. And um, I'll just sort of pull back here and you can see the size difference between the, <laughs> the 43 and the Hulkbuster. I kind of love that Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster is, is the best Queen Studios piece I reckon they've released. It is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, that's the 43. I hope you liked that. I've also got the Mark 50. I've got it unpacked. That's arrived as well. So I'll do the, the I'll do the Mark 50 next. So please um, hit subscribe. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, keep in touch because I've got the other quarter scales coming soon. So you'll get to see all of them in my collection. Thanks for watching.